Driving a mono is almost like, you know, it takes the extra effort of like riding a motorcycle. You know, you, you got a helmet you get on and you climb into the seat, you stand on the seat and then you drop in like a gymnast. You kick your legs forward and drop into the seat, you know. Most of the controls are on the steering wheel itself. You know, it's a little video game-esque, but it's super cool. You start it there, let the car warm up. It's a four-cylinder engine. It takes a little while, it'll get nice and warm, so you let that warm up as you're strapping yourself in. Because this car doesn't have a three-point seatbelt like you find on a Ferrari or a Porsche. This car has a full-on racing harness, so you strap in, Six point, boom, get yourself in nice and tight, and then car's warmed up, ready to go, boom, you engage, reverse, if you need to back out, and off you go. several roads around Temecula that are just amazing roads, so much fun. The closest one that is my favorite is Deleuze Road. And Deleuze is about a one hour circuit and it has a mix of everything that you'd want. And frankly, we use it a bit as an R&D track for us, you know, because it has a combination of a lot of different things. It's got switchbacks, it's got elevation changes, it's got decreasing radius corners, it has smooth sweepers, it's got broken pavement. It's got a mix of everything, you know, straights and tight corners and it's really a, a challenging, fun, fun road for, for people that love to, to, to drive or ride motorcycles. It's a great road. That is my favorite road around here, absolutely. Sitting in the center of a car is a revelation. If you haven't driven a Formula car, you don't really fully know what that's like. The visibility that you have, the feeling that comes through the steering wheel, through your seat, it's just amazing because you can annihilate every road. I go faster in this car than I've ever gone in any car that I've owned. And the cool thing is you don't have to go at light speed to still have fun in the car because you're getting the wind, you're getting the sun, you're getting the sensation of speed. All these feelings coming through, the vibration of the engine. Your hands feel like they're connected to the tires onto the road. So it's truly visceral and an amazing experience. The Mono is basically a formula car that was designed for road use. So it has a tubular chassis, um, it has a stressed powertrain. The Cosworth engine that's in it is a 2.3 liter Duratec based Cosworth. It's normally aspirated, it makes about 280 horsepower. To that is made in a Hewland sequential gearbox. It's their FTR gearbox that's used in Formula 3 cars. Super cool, you know, pneumatically actuated paddle shift, really fast shifting, and just really, really a cool experience, you know, because there still is a clutch pedal. So as you're driving the car under 4,000 RPM, you continue to use the clutch. So you get the best of both worlds. If you're a manual purist, you get some of that. Above 4,000 RPM, you can simply pull on the paddles. So the car utilizes a classic Formula car suspension layout, and that is with push rod and bell crank with inboard coilovers. The body itself is all carbon fiber. The brakes are AP Racing brakes. The wheels are OZ wheels. So they spec in very top shelf components on this car, and this car has over 300 pieces of billet, you know, machine parts on it. And the cool thing that these guys did is they anodized most of it black, so it's totally discreet. It's not blinged out at all. As you're looking at the car, as you look deeper and deeper, you see more and more cool little features like that that are somewhat hidden, but they're there. And for those of us who get off on that kind of thing, it's awesome. People that know me know, you know, I, I'm never the guy who just settles, you know. I, I go at things usually at 150 miles an hour. So I started Sector 111 really to go after the Lotus aftermarket and racing market. So we started doing racing parts and aftermarket accessories for the Elise and Exige. And I went and test drove an aerial Atom. And I just 
went head over heels in love with this car. In 2010, we became actually an Ariel Adam dealer, so we started selling aerials. From there, we actually became the distributor of the BAC Mono, which you know I would say is the crown jewel of all lightweight sports cars, in my view. Aesthetically, just a gorgeous, gorgeous car. Performance, just off the charts. So yeah, we went from doing accessories for Lotuses, lightweight cars, to selling various lightweight cars, and frankly, now we're working on our own lightweight cars. Having come from a manufacturing background, and I first started working at Pontiac Fiero in the assembly plant, so building cars and building things is definitely something that I just love. And that whole space, that niche, lightweight sports cars, that's what I'm nuts about, yeah.